Salt Lake City, President Trump is expected to announce a historic reduction to Bears Ears National Monument on Monday, a sprawling region of Red Rock Canyons in Utah that has been at the center of a national fight over how much land a president can legally set aside for protection. The Trump administration plans to announce that he will shrink the monument by between 77 and 92 percent, according to statements from the office of Senator Orrin Hatch, Republican of Utah. It would be the largest reduction of a national monument to date, and it comes as the administration pushes for fewer restrictions and more development on public lands. The move is particularly significant because it is expected to trigger a legal battle that could alter the course of American land conservation, possibly opening millions of protected public acres to oil and gas extraction, mining, logging and other commercial activities. Sally Jewell, who was instrumental in creating the Bears Ears Monument when she was Secretary of the Interior, said Mr. Trump's expected move would imperil the places that are spectacular, that make people want to visit us, that are owned by all of us, that are not owned by kings and queens and nobility. In April, the president ordered the current Secretary of the Interior, Ryan Zinka, to review 27 national monuments created since 1996, something he said would end another egregious use of government power. In August, Mr. Zinka delivered a report to the president suggesting that Mr. Trump changed the boundaries of six of those monuments. Americans on both sides of the aisle have anxiously awaited the decision. On Saturday thousands of people gathered in cowboy hats and ski jackets on the steps of Utah's capital to protest the president's expected reduction. Defend the sacred, read one sign. Keep your tiny hands off our public lands, read another. Further south, at the edge of the monument, another group gathered to applaud Mr. Trump's decision, standing beneath a banner, thank you for listening to local voices. Mr. Trump's decision to reduce Bears Ears would be viewed as a victory for Republican lawmakers, fossil fuel companies and rural Westerners who argue that monument designations are federal land grabs that limit revenue and stifle local control. And it would be considered a defeat for many environmentalists and recreation groups and for the five Indian nations who have fought for generations to protect the Bears Ears region. The Navajo Nation has vowed to challenge the decision in court along with other tribes and conservation and outdoor industry groups. We will stand and fight all the way, said Russell Begay, president of the Navajo Nation, adding that the United States government had already taken millions of acres of my people's land. We have suffered enough, he said. In a statement before the announcement, Senator Hatch, an opponent of Bears Ears, said he believed President Trump's decision was a win for everyone. The federal government controls about two-thirds of the land in Utah, and the state's leading politicians have long pushed for more local control of public lands. Mr.